Hello, let's start with one of the quests that seems almost annoying to the point where it will make you not do that anymore, but it's not so bad. You just have to remember a few couple of important tips, like two, two of the things are on the right side, two of the things are on the left side. So as you can see, I have three, three out of four. So let's just do the hardest one. So you enter the place, you go to the right over here. You jump, you come over here. I guess you can kind of cheese it more or less. And then you come over here to this side, and as you can see, it's over there, and that's what probably most people will miss. I'm not sure if you can do this without a bow. Probably not, because there's no nothing to catch on over there. So now let's see if I remember where the other one is on the left side. Well, to be honest, you don't need to explore as much as I did, but you'll find them eventually. The trick is that on the left side you have to go up and then you have to climb a thing. Yeah, so see this is the problem. It's much harder to do if you know what you have to do because you'll be disoriented. So from dungeons go to the left, open this door over here. Enter this place, go up, and then you'll have to go up the wall a little bit. Yeah, this is it. And that's basically number two, so these are the hardest one to find. The left side ones. Mostly because there's... Wow, man, I hate when this happens. As you can see, sometimes the game fails to properly load the textures. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can remember how to get out of this place over here because that's the weird part. It's not easier to get in. The fog surely doesn't help with orientation. Okay, so that's it. So we did the two on the left side, so on the right side it will be much easier because you just have to go over here. This door will be locked, but you can kind of go down over here. I'm missing the rested buff, so that's why my stamina is so so bad to regenerate, so slow to regenerate. So just go on the rightmost corner, just follow this. Ouch, stepped in something that I shouldn't have stepped. And yeah, I think we need to open this door as well. I think this is only for loot, so I don't think we need to be here. Yeah, sorry about this. I guess the right side is a little bit more annoying to find sometimes. So let's go back up here. Somehow we ended up on this side. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. So anyway, we just need to go behind the door and open it. And as you can see, when I open the door and this thing was here, and you have to activate it, you have to press E near it. And I think this will also activate another lock, so that's lock number three. And to get to this area, well, it's not so bad. I guess I can find it again. Yeah, let's just reverse engineer our pathway. That's the thing you're supposed to grab. Oh yeah, there are two of them. So you go over there, go over there, grab that, come over here, go upstairs, activate that. And the last one is supposed to be somewhere upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, it lets me open the chests again, which is kind of distracting.
Okay, so where would the last one be? I guess for the last one you need to go to the... Oh yeah, to the right side. Near the gate and open the door from there. No, this is not it. Well, I don't really remember, but it's not that hard to find anyway. Let me see if I can, you know, do it another way. Sorry about this. I guess it should have been an easy thing to do. I guess... Oh, I don't remember going over there so Maybe this implies I have to go all the way over here. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's the problem with a game like this. It doesn't leave you a lot of room for exploration, sadly. Maybe we just need to enter a certain location over here. Anyway, it's not that hard to find. That's the idea. I just don't. I don't. I can't find it right now. My brain cannot work because everything is so samey and annoying but it was definitely very easy to find on the right side and I activated with a wand so again it's just because it's not light up anymore yeah. it's harder to find in the darkness I can meet bulwark which is just a simple shield which might be worse than the one you are currently wearing this does add some health. <laughs> and that's about it. Okay, now let's do an important quest because that was important. And we need to find the hand spindle. Because that's how you'll get flax, and if you get flax, you can get a better glider, you can get a lot of other cool things as well. Basically, it will be a huge improvement, especially when it comes to the glider. And as you can see, that more skin, which I don't really care about. I guess it's easier to gather them rather than grow them. And also, I need to find a source of water. I'm not sure how to build a well. So yeah, the, the longevity of the game is purely based on how much you want to learn about the game and how, and how many people you are playing with. As definitely looking at the map, knowing where the locations are will be so much faster than doing this. And use the bandages. This smells like spiders. This will get a lot of these mushrooms. Oh. There are a lot of crispy critters in here. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so I guess the pathway was obstructed by this web over here. I don't think there will be anything interesting, I just destroyed them sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's just the basic loot. Ah, this is how you get into this place with the luminescent stuff. Abandoned hunter camp. camp.
Oh, so I'm supposed to search for the hunter spindle, but I already was in this place and I couldn't find it. This will be annoying because I... But maybe I was not searching for it hard enough. Yeah, you can... It's just called bioluminescent stuff if you mine it. Uh, okay, so only this portion over here is the camp. Or I assume it's the camp. Oh well, I guess don't be afraid of spider, what can I say? Oh, spiders, what can I say? That was a bit scary. I was not expecting so many of them to be left. I guess it's a lot of free string, but string is one of the easiest materials to get in the game, so... Eh. And you don't get a lot of experience for this either. Okay, it was over here, so when you enter this big room over here... Just look over there where the tent is. Oh, I completely missed it. Yeah, let me just get one of these things. You can see how they look and how they are. Luminous growth. Explosive powder ball net. That sounds super super interesting, like you could definitely do some damage with those things. Also I need it for my new set of armor, I need it for a lot of other things as well. So, you need to get the flax, the adult flax. Because the seed ring will not really do anything. Okay, so I kind of understand their idea. Not a bad idea, but it's just not practical in a gaming environment. Because that means a lot of extra work for nothing. Well, it's not for nothing. It's a lot of work for the same results, I guess. As you can see, I'm really struggling with the storage space right now. that. I don't know what that noise was. Okay, we'll put the farming ground over here because I'm pretty sure at some point we'll need more of those. Okay, well, well rested. Now let's see what the game wants me to do. I guess we can try to do that for the boss, but I just want to finish this one first, if possible. Flame Shrine, Flame Sanctum. Humble Spine Boneyard. That sounds both cool and interesting. Well, there goes my plan to do that in this video.
Yeah, I guess we can just play a little more. I don't want to make the videos too long, but as you can see, sometimes you just get stuck on the progress you make because it's, it becomes a little bit jumbled what you need to do next. I just like the game with clear instructions. They could have mentioned that so... I don't know. I just... My brain works differently than developers because I've been playing so many games that I just want to always use the best options available to me. Which might create a little bit of a conflict because as you can see a lot of, the, a lot of developers use subpar mechanics or just worse mechanics in general to extend the gameplay time. Which is something I'll never do. Apparently the things will get interesting over there. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of time wasted, not worth it at all. Also, it's kind of annoying that I basically explored this entire area and this thing didn't show up. It only showed up much, much later. <clears throat> yeah, I think the game is very buggy and I don't think the developers really, really play their own game. Because they would have known about these problems with pathfinding and the pathway to the correct location actually appearing when you need it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go and see what's inside the dungeon. By the way, I feel like I'm under level for the current areas I'm in because at this point I should have better gear, better weapons, and probably more skill points. Man, the stamina regeneration is killing me. Slowly. Sometimes fast, but mostly slowly. Speaking of which, can I finally select this little thing over here? No, I need one more level. There it is, that's all you needed to come to this entrance over here. This has a cool name. Okay, let's see what we gained so far in our adventure. Well, we gained a lot of stuff. Okay, okay, man, this game is a mess. As you can see, the camera angles, if you lock onto an enemy, will just kill you faster than the enemies themselves. It's actually just much better to guard and wait over here like this. And you can actually farm them super easy. Oh, come on, really? Yeah. It's just a maze for the sake of being a maze. So if you drop down over here, what do you find? Close gate. Why am I not surprised? Time we see these heavily armored and shielded enemies. It's just supposed to use the one. See, the one is always going to be faster. Did get a level 15 broadsword, which is nice. <laughs> I thought I had enough distance, that's crazy that you can get killed by one of those. Even though I had my distance and it didn't look... Eh, whatever. And... Yeah, it looks like this is one of those games where we need a lot of patience just to get through it. 
Guys, look at the problems. If you die, you have to recover your body, which is not the big problem. The big problem is if you die in a dungeon like this, then you have to retrace all of your steps. And this can get very time consuming. Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for the game. <laughs> game, thank you for the gift of death. That is really helpful. Okay, so I guess we just have to trust what we see over here. I guess this is just a little side room with nothing I really needed, see? Yeah, I don't know why they have these ones. These are the ones you just have to push. I never really did see any door. Okay, I have to press that, enter through here. Yeah, I don't know why they have this. It's like it's a co-op thing, but you don't really want it or need it. I don't get it. What? What's the deal with all of these stupid things? It's supposed to shoot. And then you activate it, right? Apparently not anymore. The game they said... Oh. Come on, really, game? Yeah, you know what? This is BS. This is just... BS. I saw it at the final moment. They really are putting all of the annoying mechanics in one spot. I pressed 7, I can assure you of that. Yeah, I guess I just need to be much better prepared for stuff like this because it's just going to waste my time and your time as well. That is. <laughs> this is the deal. How do you open this one? Is the thing above? Do I need to aim above? Okay, let's give it one more shot, or two more shots. The only reason I brought the bow is to open doors like this, but I cannot even open doors like that. <clears throat> so what's the point of even bringing the bow then?
Wow! What was that camera angle change? Come on, just a little more. Oh, this is one of the more... Oh, wow, okay. I'm just struggling with the control zone, so if you accidentally equip something, you cannot... Delete it. Just delete it. Can I not delete it? Okay, keep calm. <laughs> the game cannot hurt me. Did you eat copper or what's that? I guess they just run away. Oh man. This game is a bad joke. Why did I die then? Why? I was full HP. What? Was it one of those special shots that there is? Yeah, you need to come to these places fully stocked for war. But it really starts to get some. It really starts to get on my nerve the fact that I cannot see anything and it's always the fog, the mist. It's always these enemies that really cheat. They're just trying to cheese you by putting explosive barrels everywhere. Hmm, this sounds interesting. This dungeon is one of the worst ones I have seen in a long time. What is the point of this room? Oh yeah, that's it, because most of these quests will just reward you with a few building blocks. My reward was... Weathered stone blocks, and that's the entire quest. Okay, quest solved. See, this is a lot what I'm talking about the quests and oh. run out of time they are very easy to defeat they are adorable when they try to block magic attack like magic attacks like that oh a luminous wand so I guess it was really worth it
Oh, I guess it was just another third bow. I am so confused about all of this. You're supposed to escape. How do you even escape from a place that always looks the same? Ay, man. Yeah, they're really just piling all of the annoying mechanics on top of each other. Like, hey, do you want to be pressured while exploring a dungeon with minimal rewards? Yes, thank you. No. Uh, oh, that's rare. Or poison arrow. At least I have the luminous wand, which seems to be a little better than what I currently have. And it's still fire magic. Fire, 12 fire, 12 fire, and it has some shop protection, yeah, it's better, it's a little better. Wait, where am I going now? Then it comes up with these ideas, they are the worst ideas I've seen in video gaming in such a long, long time. Wondering what what's happening is apparently I unlocked the shortcut. Yeah, very fair of how I get hit, right? Okay, at least to kill the boss, it was another fell brute. Oh, apparently this door opened. Well, how are you supposed to know these things? Okay, guess that's the, that's the entire quest line. What's my other objective? Oh well, I guess that's enough for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.